What's up, y'all? This is Ty. I am here to review season three, episode one of Power Book Three, Raising Canaan. And the episode is titled Home Sweet Home. But before I get into that, I gotta, got to give a shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Let's keep this channel going and growing. Thanks for all your support, leaving those comments and all the things that you do. If you're new here, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let's keep this channel going and growing. All right, I done got the begging out the way. <laughs> I done got that out the way. Let's get right down to this episode. Okay, picked up right where we left off last season. Rock is dealing with the aftermath. The family is dealing with the aftermath after the attack from the mob from Newark, from the mafia from Newark. I mean, they attacked Rock, Lulu, and Marvin. They got them in all these places, all these spots. Unfortunately, someone has been killed, and that someone is Kenya, which is Laverne's mom. Because now they're in the hospital, we see um, Marvin dealing with, having to go around with his wound, dealing with what he had to deal with. We see Lulu dealing with what he had to deal with because I believe, what, wasn't his girlfriend shot? I think she was shot. And the police questioning him and the police are questioning Rock at the hospital. And Rock manages to concoct the story with the help of Detective Howard. And they put everything on <laughs> Crown Camacho. And they're saying, basically, she's saying, basically, she helped her brother get this record label and, um, they found out, you know, his business partner, Crown, had some dealings with some dirty people who he owed money to. And they told her that her Crown's debt, debt was her debt. And she said no. Very clever. And so she said, I said no. Next thing you know, I've been attacked. And then she went into how she defended herself and took this one's gun. We know none of that is what happened. We know that Unique came in there and helped her. We know that. So it's like, come on. Come on. But that was very clever how she did that because Rock seems she's a smart woman and she knows how to convince people of things. So after that, we see that Rock is, is going to have a family meeting. She has this family meeting that includes Marvin, Jukebox and um, Kanan. And she's going through this whole thing about how she's out of the game and she's so sorry. and She's going to make it right. And then moving into this her new house, the big house. And Kanan's like, this ain't my house. He's planning to go stay with Famous. He's like, this ain't my house. I'm not, I'm not saying, he ain't trusting her. He's not buying her story. She did win over um, Jukebox, AKA Laverne, cause she told her when Laverne asked her, well, what happened? Why was my mother even over there to see you? She said, your mother came and poured her heart out to me. She was hurting for all the things and how things went down and she did love you. So that was a good way to console um, Laverne, a.k.a. Jukebox. And it kind of worked on Jukebox. But Kanan wasn't trying to have none of that. And um, he even mentioned, he said, oh, you and my father, he said some stuff like that. And Marvin is looking like, what is his father? What is he talking about? Defcom is dead. What, what, what are you talking? You want to tell me what's going on here? So she had to end up telling Marvin what happened. And Marvin was like, wait, hold up. Detective. Hi and he's like, wow, why didn't you, you say anything? She said, listen, she gave her reasons why she couldn't say anything because that was a police officer and she it would look bad. So, you know, just deceit. So now he's like, OK, but that seems like Marvin is the only one that's staying loyal to her. He's like, I'm, I'm riding with you because Lulu seems done with her. Lulu is upset. Lulu was like, listen, she want to be out of the game now. After when I said I was out of the game, she told me she owned me. Now she just want to be up out of the game. And he was like, he started airing out dirty stuff too. He said, yeah. And we got that dude killed. We killed him for no reason. He wasn't even a snitch. She messed up. She messed up. And as he's trying to say all of this to Marvin, Marvin is still siding. To me, he felt like he was still siding. Like, well, you know, maybe he wasn't a snitch, but he was hiding something. So she's, he's just like, he's just like constantly defending her, it seems like. So he's the only one still riding with her. Meanwhile, we, let's go on down to Unique. Unique goes home to his girlfriend and he has a visitor or a guest and it's his brother. And... His girlfriend was not too pleased that his bro brother was there. And his brother is dry and like he's eating cereal. Don't, give, don't even get up to give him a hug. He's like, yo, 
I um, haven't seen you in three years and you won't stand up to hug your little brother. He was like, I don't want my Siri to get soggy. And he didn't know that he's like, what's that on your, what's the blood on it? What happened to your arm, whatever. And he's just fresh out of jail and he wants things run his way. He, he has a conversation with Unique where he's telling him like, I don't like that you now under rock and I left you in charge. And Unique is trying to tell him things are different and you don't understand things. So I know his brother is going to be a problem. I like the way they introduced him. You can tell he's going to be a problem. Even Unique's baby mama ain't feeling him. She's like, nah, I'm not feeling him at all. This is, this is crazy. I'm not feeling him at all. At all. Meanwhile, we have <laughs> Detective Burke. Poor Detective Burke. Detective Burke, her world is crumbling down. She's trying to prove, you know, back at the hospital, she storms in here with this thing about Howard. Meanwhile, there's cases being built against her by her dealing with minors. And her boss is like, you know what, I'm suspending you. So he suspends her. He tells her father. She has this conversation with her father. Her father's telling her, listen, you got to... You're going to hurt your career here. You're going to mess up. You got They're investigating you, and you're following on Howard. Leave that alone. When we get in here, let me do all the talking, this, that, and the third. But this thing's is not working out for her. And it gets so bad for her. Now she done got suspended. Then she's accused she's being investigated. Then to make matters worse, you, can't, you ain't got no boo no more. She go to her girlfriend, and her girlfriend is like, I don't want to be bothered with you, no. She's no more. She said, you know why? She says that. She says, because listen, you got these people questioning me. I got a business to run. I got things, a career to deal with. And I got a sick mother who is holding on, maybe dead in the year. She said, listen, I shouldn't circle, double back with you, but I double back with you because I care. But you're selfish and you only care about yourself. And I'm done with you. Just like that. I said, damn, it can't get no worse. Her world is crumbling down crumbling down. I was like, damn, Detective Burke. And I like her. I like that detective, but she knows too much. She's doing too much, and she doesn't know how to stop. And her, her world is crumbling down. Meanwhile, Rock has a conversation with Detective Howard. He pretty much tells her, we're on the same team, sweetheart, because that child, we're on the same team with him. And what he knows, we got to get him in line. We got to get this together. So they decide to go over to Famous's house, his apartment, which he's being evicted, by the way. They go over there and have a conference. But before that, let's go, before we get into that, <laughs> the funny scene in this episode was, well, it was too funny since I like when Marvin was doing his woo-saw breathing thing. But the funny scene in here was when Famous and Kanan would try to make money on their own because Famous looked like he's getting evicted from this apartment and trying to make money on their own and make this drug deal, new business deal with this dude who's playing video games with his son spending quality time. And the banter between them was hilarious because as uh, Kanan and Famous are speaking to him, the little boy interjects and his father's like, I told you to stay out of grown folks' business. This little, little boy was like, they ain't grown. I thought that whole scene was funny. That whole scene was funny. Unfortunately, there's no deal for them. They're teenagers. The guy was like, nah, I can't work with y'all. That's that. So, Kane need money. Famous need money. Now, in walks. Now, we go back to Rock and Detective Howard going into the house, into um, Famous's apartment to speak with Kane. And they have that discussion and they tell him, listen, we got to work together. We got to, it's feds, it's this, it's that. This is dangerous. Things are dangerous. Um, Rock is saying she promises to make it right and make things right, this, that, and the third. But then Kanan drops a bomb on both of them. He's like, well, since y'all saying all of this, let me tell you. You're his partner. She know everything. She pressed me. She knows that I shot at you. She know that you, he said, she know that I shot at you. You know, remember you had me try to kill him. She knows about that. She knows <laughs> That he's my fault. He says she knows everything. And Rock was like, Dad, she was pressing me. But Burke was like, I mean, um, Howard was like, I'll handle Burke. Don't worry about that. And I'm like, oh, this is getting good. This is getting real good. This is getting interesting. And well, you know what else was interesting? In this episode, we see Unique telling his girlfriend, don't worry about anything. He going to handle his brother because she don't want him there. And then Unique pays a visit to... 
rock. And he's, I, I said when he was at the door, he kind of flirting with her. And lo and behold, they're in the, in the house. He tells, she tells him that she's out of the game and all that. And then they lock eyes. They start kissing. And they start having sex. And that, that was that. Meanwhile, we have Marvin trying to bond with his daughter. He tells her, he says, listen, they're having a memorial for your mom. And he, you know, he brought the stuff from Laverne that had, um, he brought the stuff from Kenya, I'm sorry, that had Laverne's name on it. And inside that box was uh, Laverne's albums. They were Aretha Franklin, Patti LaBelle and the Bluebells, the Supremes, you know, all the classics, the old school classics and Roberta Flack and so and pictures. So this was a way for Jukebox to bond. She's bonded and looking through all of that stuff. And then we see her in school, or I believe that was school of guidance counseling and what she wants to do with herself. And she says she wants to sing. And the, the counselor told her, singing ain't no career. See how they squash your dreams? But I like how they did that because this goes to show you how we're creating Jukebox and the Jukebox that we got to learn in the original Power series, Cold Hearted, because look look at what's going on, losing your mother, you wanna sing somebody telling you that's not a career, so now we're seeing, oh, that's how she got, you know. so that was interesting. Marvin goes to the memorial, Jukebox does not, she stays home and she's looking through the pictures, she's reading the Bible, and she's connecting with her mom in that way, and like I said, and who knew that Jukebox and <clears throat> Unique was going to connect like that. Now, they're connected. Even though I did see a little sexual tension a little bit last season, but that was interesting. And that's interesting how this is all going to play out between them, their relationship and everything. But, 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 the kicker of this episode for me, what I did not expect, was when... This is the kicker for me. When... Well, before I get into that, I ain't going to get into that yet. Let's also discuss more bonding that's going on. And that's the bonding between Lulu and Kanan. Because Lulu is hurting. Lulu is upset. He's done with Rock. He's pissed off. And him and Kane, he tells him, you, I feel like you're the only one I can talk to. And they're having this conversation. And he's like, she wants to sell this house because she just don't care. We have memories here. She wants to sell. Everything she do is for her, and she's evil. You know, he's having that conversation, and those two are just sitting there, you know, wallowing in their pity and both in a, in a mutual pity party for their feelings towards Rock. So I want to get into that, get into that real quick. I thought that was a great scene, too, that little bond that they're having, too. Now, let's get down to what I did not see coming, not the way it happened. When Burke met up with Detective Howard and they had this conversation, he called her and said, listen, I want to meet up with you, this, that, and the third. She's in there with her gun. She's ready. They got in that car and I was like, something's going to happen. But <clears throat> he's telling her, listen, I can help you. She told him, listen, I'm about to lose my job. I don't lose my girlfriend. I mean, things are terrible. But she know, but I care. And he's like, well, what is it you think you know? And this is where she messed up. She told him what she knows. And when she got through, she told him she knew about um, Kanan being his son. She knew that he had, that Rock was an informant, that he slept with her when she was underage, got her pregnant. He knew that Rock, she knew that Rock lied about who the father was. And she don't know how he found out he was the father and all that stuff. When she got through with him, all he could do was shoot her and kill her. He shot her. I was like, whoa, I did not see that coming only because I felt like that wasn't in his character. But as I was saying that, I was like, wow, see what happens when you get pushed and then you had the adult Kanan, played by 50 Cent, narrate and he says, you never know what you're capable of and what you think you one way and then you never know what you end up doing. And look what he ended up doing. Killing her and make and he's trying to clean up and make it look like a suicide. That was like I was like wow, that was crazy. I knew something was going to happen. I thought maybe Rock was going to kill her. I didn't think he was going to kill her. But now look, he's spiraling down. He's it's a crooked cop now. That like <laughs> that was crazy. It's like it was just crazy. That was crazy. But that was really good. And while that's going on, Rock is getting that good loving 
her and, her and um, Unique getting their good love. It was a very good episode, very good season premiere. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next week and with this season and with all the twists and turns. And I hear there's going to be some new characters coming in. And I'm interested in how the mob thing is going to play out. Um, because you got the New York mob upset with the Newark, New Jersey mob and Tony Danza and his role and all that. I'm curious to see how all of that is going to play out. But that's all I have for now. I thought it was a great episode. Um, a great start to the new season. That's all I have. Tell me your thoughts. Did you like this episode? Tell me down below. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I will do what? I will see you in the next video.